tinkerers and t sports cars, a word that also begins with the letter T. This is Internet Personality Vangelis, and Earthrise Wheeljack was the only Earthrise Deluxe I had for nearly half of the year 2020. He's lived on my desk through many an existential crisis in that decade-long year, and as a result, he's no longer a child-friendly subject, rendering this review video a video not for kids. Once again rendered in the Earthbound alt mode form of a car that absolutely isn't a Lancia racing vehicle, wheeljacks wide and flat, ridged on the back and smoked in the windshield. The red painted rims are nice to see, though they're a touch desaturated in a way that somewhat exacerbates the off-white, off green body plastic. His palette reminds me of 70s carpeting that survived into the early 90s, very specifically. Wheeljack's racing sponsor Tampagraphs have been resurrected and fully fictionalized for the sake of putting the toy out under the umbrella of a large corporation. They're very cute, and hey, pretty darn crisp for mass-produced fine print on plastic. However, I've read warnings about scratching them up, so tread carefully with your frictions. The weapon accessory can peg onto the roof, but low-key, smooth operators store it in the back. Creative Chaos operators remove the similarly 5mm pegged spoiler pieces and let their creativity run wild. Across the five available ports, anyway. This transformation is a delightful car robot conversion, pulling chunks of mass from all the right spots on the vehicle and adding a neat torso twist above the actual waist joint to allow the true roof to become a true roof chest. Rocking a sideways version of the Combiner Wars leg extension, or, or did his own Combiner Wars version do the sideways thing too? I forgot, he's breakdown. Right? Anyway, Wheeljack stumbles at the last second as two frontal chunks of windshield fold down in theory. They can, don't get me wrong, but it's incredibly common for them to twist themselves right off of their mounting pegs. It's a shame and fairly annoying if you forget that it can happen until it happens, but on the bright side, they can't really fall off once they're inside the calves. By the way, it kind of freaks me out the idea of having like curved sharp pieces of glass inside your calves. Any of you all have that kind of condition? Let me know. I'm perpetually torn on whether or not Earthrise Wheeljack's forearms are too long. I think they're okay, except for when they look too long. Anyway, this is a solid cartoon toy pastiche Wheeljack, kind of like a cartoon character with toy car chunks on his outlines. His arms did some swivel tricks to reveal black gloves, and that means they have whole wheels on the undersides. But checkmate, his wings use the same backside trick to show off some lovely metallic paint. The head sculpt is sweet, delicious wheel jackery, silvered up in the right places and punctuated with two blue eyes that I wish were a tone or two brighter. That shoulder launcher can swap sides as per your pleasure or simply pop off as a peggable weapon for the sake of weaponizer or modulator custom builds. Uh, and for reference, he's got 5mm ports and 3mm pegs in all of the regulation Cybertronian Omnifunctional Modular Battlefield Assault Tech System locations. Even with the rocket launcher up here, the ball joint on the neck gets a decent amount of emotivity. Uh, just enough, uh, not really wiggle, but as you turn it, you can manipulate it a little bit to add a little bit of quizzicalness or, or uh, cocksuredness. Uh, the shoulders do the stuff they're supposed to do unhindered. The bicep swivels uh, are a little annoying because they work, you know, uh, but this one especially really likes to um, use the soft detents built into it for transformation to pop itself out uh, when it hits that exact angle, like somewhere in here. Sometimes it doesn't catch, but when it does, uh, that happens. It's really annoying and I don't know what to shave down. I've tried a bunch of different things and none of them really seem to be uh, making it go away. Uh, the elbow is a solid 90. It's a little high. I wish the elbow was here and not up here because this just makes his arms look even longer. Uh, and he does have a wrist swivel thanks to the transformation, which is pretty cool. Like, you know, he's got this whole knuckle plate on the back, but uh, if you can deal with that, uh, and I can, then you can deal with that. What did you think the point was going to be? Waist joint works real nicely. The other one doesn't, but it's locked because of the chest plate. What, what did you think it was going to do, really? And what would it have done for you? I'm pointing at you. 
He's got your basic uh, hip arrangement with pins and things. Uh, he can uh, balance himself between two moving vehicles. Uh, thighs can swivel and reveal all of their like hydraulic sculpted inner greeble. Because like, what's the point of a of a gap filler when you have all this lovely stuff you can cover up? Thanks for making my point, little piece of windshield. The uh, knees. Despite, you know, the little hingery in here, the actual knee is just a solid 90 degree thing. And the feet are great. Um, big old ankle tilt, giant platform, little heel extension. And because of the double jointed nature of how they transform, you can get a lot of decent uh, intermediary and helpful, um, you know, toe pointing out of this. So uh, Wheeljack uh, has a lot of bulk and his arms are weird, but if you put in a little bit of work, you can get some very decent natural stances out of him. Doubly so if you kind of hide the length of his forearms. There are absolutely nicer deluxes in Earthrise, but this is the one that spent the longest time with me on his own, and I grew very fond of him. Many times in podcasts, I found myself basically saying, this is a great figure, despite this flaw, and that figure looking better, and this other figure doing things better, dot dot dot. This is a great figure. Now that I've got more of the line, my opinion remains the same, albeit with the caveat that I do find several other deluxes to be better. One of them even uses his transformation skeleton. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Evangelist, and I'd like to thank, in particular, all of my Patreon supporters as we enter the second quarter of 2021, mere weeks after April 2020, which was only a few days ago. <laughs> ah!